everybody, this is Pastor Susan, and welcome to the season of Lent. The season of Lent is a time of repentance, refocusing, reflection of our lives with God and on the life that God calls us to as we follow Jesus. Um, and I'm, I'm glad that you can join us for um, our sermon series and our devotional series that's entitled Pivot. A Journey from Broken to Whole. You'll see on this devotional guide the image of a bowl that has been uh, broken and put back together with a gold adhesive. And um, it's, it's a wonderful image, I think, that expresses God's desire to bring us to a place where we can see our broken places and know that God can take those and make something beautiful out of them. Today, we're going to be focusing on a passage of scripture that uh, perhaps you can relate to. It comes from Romans chapter 7, verse 15. I do not understand my own actions, for I do not do what I want, but I do the very thing that I hate. Now, the Apostle Paul here is talking about sin in our lives. Sin can be defined as missing the mark, missing God's best, missing what it is that God intends for our lives, and all of us do it. Um, you know, the thing about it is, I, I you know, I respond to uh, that missing the mark and, and hurting others sometimes with three different responses, and there may be more. Um, but think about these in relation to your own time of missing the mark or, or sinning, uh, not doing what God wants for you. Um, I can say, I'm sorry about that to myself and change my behavior. I can say, I'm sorry about that and go on with no change of behavior. Or I can say, I'm sorry, that's not my fault. And then I have nothing to change. So I want to take a look at all three of those, um, and this is all in the devotional booklet that I put together for you, but I want to take at all three of those um, so uh, to think about what it means to say, I'm sorry. Um, to say I am sorry means to admit that I did something wrong that hurt someone, whether that be another person or that be God's intention for my life and God's heart. Uh, the, those two responses that begin with the words, I'm sorry, um, have very different meanings though, right? When I say that I'm sorry um, and I make an intention of change in behavior, that is very different from me saying I'm sorry with no change of intention or behavior. And I've been guilty of both of those in my life. Have you? Um, another way of thinking about uh, that third response, I'm sorry, uh, it's your fault, and I have nothing to change. I'm not sorry about that. It's, it's your deal. Um, you know, these are times when we completely are unaware, perhaps, of our missed mark or our part in the offense, if you will. Um, and we have no, don't see any need to apologize or accept responsibility. Now, I want to have a little caveat here to say that there are times when I've said I'm sorry for something that really wasn't mine to say I was sorry about, right? But when we are in relationship with one another, we all participate when things go awry, when things go off kilter. And so inviting um, responsibility at the same time of acknowledging that we are in relationship is an important part of this. So um, think for example, you know, I think one of the things we think about sometimes is, or we don't think about sometimes is our unknowing uh, participation in missing the mark. So um, harming the environment can be one of those. I, I know this is true in my life or perhaps engaging in disrespecting others and disparaging their humanity because they are different from you or from me, whether it be um, a political difference or a, a societal difference or racial differences, however, um, or buying products without any concern for the trade policies that could have put poor, poor farmers in South Af America or garment workers in Bangladesh at risk and hurting them. 
Um, in, this in these cases, it takes somebody saying you were wrong or this is wrong before a change can be made. And so even then, uh, this one is perhaps the most difficult because we refuse to see that our decisions impact a much larger web than we ever knew. What Paul is acknowledging here in his letter to the Romans, in which we find this small but important sentence, is that everybody tends to fall into habits that in many cases brings about results that you and I hate. And in those times when we don't recognize our choices that impact others until someone draws our con that connection to them, we face a dilemma. Do we accept the consequences of our actions or do we change our ways, which is what the word repent means. So today our prayer practice is to uh, spend time with God uh, to make sure that you are aware of any way that you may be missing the mark of God's will and way in your life, and then ask God to show you that right direction uh, which you can uh, turn in repentance. Um, and then the pivot practice for us today, not just pray about it, do something about it. So t consider one step that you can take in the other direction of where you have missed the mark for your life as it relates to that area. It may be in relationship with a family member or someone else who needs attention. Uh, make a step toward reconciliation. Make a step toward making that right. Seek God's grace to live into being the person that God wants you to be. May it be so. Amen and amen. <music>